this is Russ. I am back out on the road. Today is Wednesday. You guys will probably see this by, I would tend to think, maybe Saturday. <laughs> I always take a guess, but I never know exactly when I'm going to release this stuff to you. So, uh, we're heading into Rolling Meadows again. And I made the decision that um, I would give this a try. Remember at one time I made a video, I talked about, you know, which, uh, which Chinese carryout should we go to? Should we go to the one closer to us or go to the one farther from us? <laughs> right? So the one farther from us is actually in Rolling Meadows. So I figured, you know, we, we had uh, ridden towards Rolling Meadows before. What if I actually rode it to get to the Chinese motorcycles are loud. What if I rode it to get to the Chinese carryout? How long would it take me to get there? Not riding fast, but just riding normal speeds. So it's about seven o'clock or so in the morning. And uh, so I figured I'd give it a try. Now I've already been riding for a little bit of time already and uh, just started up the, the camera now. So this shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> and being so early in the morning, maybe we won't have as many uh, people to contend with on the, on, the, uh, on the road with the cars. So, so anyways, uh, <laughs> here we are going forward again. I like taking you guys with me because it gives me somebody to talk to. <laughs> you know, I have no riding buddy, so talking to myself is kind of different. And uh, of course, I, I tend to dry out. You know, what I keep forgetting to do is put chapstick on. That's why I'm always lipping, licking my lips. Let me see if I have some with me here. Well, I do. Now, let's see if we can put this on while riding. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ha, there you go. <laughs> okay, there's no cars around us, so that's that's why I'm able to do this. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can put this back now. Hold on. Yep, yep, did pretty good. Not too bad. It's always a risk. <laughs> so hopefully that that'll help a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, you want to put chapstick on before riding because it tends to dry you out. Well, okay, maybe if you weren't talking, you wouldn't be drying out so much. But since I'm always talking, I'm drying out fairly quick. <laughs> okay. So you might have noticed I stopped at the stop sign and that's only because the police car was there. <laughs> they want to blow through a stop sign with the cop car uh, on the right at the stop sign. <laughs> Not a good thing. So anyways, um, getting to this place should be relatively easy. I, I put the GPS on walking mode. Now of course walking mode thinks it's going to take a certain amount of time to uh, to get by but of course if you're riding you're going to get there faster than what the walking mode tells you to do now that car saw that I was coming up and he decided to wait for me and uh, so of course I take advantage of that <laughs> otherwise yeah you know if you're both coming to a stop sign I would definitely have to stop The sad part is that I, don't, I really don't like blowing through stop signs, but um, with the weight of this bike and everything, it's actually safer for me not to actually stop. That's, that's usually when I will fall, is uh, during stops and turns, because you slow down for turns. So anyways, this, uh, this path is not the way I typically would go if I was just simply to, uh, to take my car. But the walking path tells me if I go this way, 
I should be okay. Now again, here, I am straddling the lane here, but there is a car across the way from us, which should trigger the, uh, the sensor on the street. Now I'm looking at the street here, and usually you can see cutouts designed for the automatic sensors to, to trigger the lights, but I don't see anything on here. They're obviously they're there, but uh, with, with the asphalt on top of it, you don't see a thing, so there's no way for me to know where it is. So we will just wait our turn here. Eventually this light should change. No cars behind me. All right, here we go. And as I go through these uh, intersections, I will typically use the, the throttle as well as try to pedal because I need to get as fast of a start up as I can get through that intersection. They say the most dangerous place for you to be is at an intersection when you're on the road because cars can be turning into you, sometimes they don't see you, they blast right through, they hit you. <laughs> so you don't want to linger at the intersections. Okay, so there's a radar thing here. I'm registering 14 on theirs, mine says 14. So we are in sync. Now it said 17, but there's no way because I was registering 13.6. I was actually going slower than the 14. <laughs> so you know those things are not accurate 100%. And there's no cars behind me. So what is it picking up thinking that I'm, I'm at 17 miles an hour? I wasn't. I was going fairly slow. I'm still doing only like 13. 0.1 miles an hour. Now it tells me with the walking mode that I should be turning at this upcoming stoplight but I know from looking at the map beforehand I don't think I actually need to do that. Oops. Things fly into your eyes I tell you. Your bugs or whatever. That, I think that's the most irritating thing. If it hits your eye you can't see, it temporarily blinds you. <laughs> I think I can go through and go straight on this road. See, it's asking me to turn on Northwest Highway, but I know if I do that, that's a higher traffic road. I don't want to take that. So I'm going to go straight ahead. And this is the general area we were before when we were coming back from some of these uh, trips that we did recently. So I believe I can go straight, but we'll find out. There are cars starting to come up from behind. I'm sure they're not thrilled seeing a bike on their road with them, but hey, too bad. I'm getting an attitude. <laughs> So being early in the morning, it's uh, cooler. This is why I usually like riding in the mornings rather than uh, any other time of the day, especially now the summer is actually here and uh, it's getting hotter and hotter every single day. Last through here. All right, so we can start pedaling again. Sun is starting to come out now. 
started out kind of overcast a little bit, but I think it'll clear up. Today's weather is supposed to be in the upper 80s. I did not water the lawn because I wanted to get out on the road here. I'll do that later tonight. Let's see how far we need to go. And again, because we have the camera facing me, I don't get to see the map. So I really don't know 100%. But it is telling me to take a left turn at the light. So let's do that. I think there's T intersections here, so you have to turn left or right. No, you can go straight. Let's see what it tells us to do. It does show a bike route. We'll see where that goes. And it shows that this road should turn left, and if I'm right, it should turn into that road again. Kind of forces you to make this little jog. I think that other street may just go to some uh, industrial places, who knows. But the road we were just on actually continues if you take this little turnabout. That was not a turnabout. This little turn. <laughs> So this thing tells me to turn on Euclid, which is the road we were on at one time when we were coming back from Harper College, remember that? <laughs> when we saw Weber and we saw Harper College, that was on Euclid. So my thinking behind this is, if I'm able to ride this, theoretically, I could go to the Chinese restaurant and pick up Chinese food <laughs> and ride it back. Now the problem with this of course is that by the time you get back, food's probably code. <laughs> but I wanted to check it out. Yeah, I'm still drying out. <laughs> we got about less than three minutes and then the camera will shut down. But I'll, uh, I'll turn ourselves off and uh, turn us back on again if I notice the camera. <laughs> I always look at the timer. There's a timer on the video portion of the cell phone. And as long as I stay under that 16 minute time frame, I shouldn't be losing you. All right, so it wants me to take a left. And see, there's it's the left turn lane. So I should take the left turn lane. Okay, now there are sensors on this thing, but there is a car ahead of us. So he should be setting the sensor off for us. Getting a lot of gnats flying around me. And usually if you're stopped, that's when the gnats keep bothering you. <laughs> when, you're, when you're riding, it can't, it can't find you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to turn and then... Hopefully we don't see the cars. Let's see if there are cars there. So we got 1.1 miles to take on this road here. Now I'm just gonna throttle this because we are on a uh, fast moving road. So we're doing a little bit past 20 miles an hour right now.
And of course, if I were to actually pick up Chinese food, which I'm not doing really, um, it would be during during the day when when cars are actually out. Right now, it's not that heavily trafficked, but it, it could be. That's the drawback of it. There's a bike lane here, but uh, there's another bike rider there, so I'm not going to take it. And besides, that, uh, that lane takes me out of where I'm trying to go. Okay, I am back. Camera ran out while I was on the road, so kind of hard to stop. Kind of hard to stop and uh, and make that adjustment. So yeah, we went forward a little bit past, but we're still on uh, Euclid. I decided to take the bike route. Of course, they need to trim these trees because I'm taller, and we're gonna be hitting the trees. <laughs> So if you see us bobbing up and down, it's because I'm ducking the tree branches. Okay, let's see, where's this thing? Okay, I believe I need to take it right. So, we can either go on the sidewalk. I think we will take the sidewalk since there's a lot of cars. All right, hard to make a hard, sharp right turn. Very hard to do that, so. It's best for me, I know, if I don't wanna fall, just to actually stop, get off the bike, turn the sharp right turn. <laughs> now I could take the uh, street at this point but there's nobody here on the sidewalk, so I'm gonna just take the sidewalk. The problem is, is that these trees aren't cut well enough, so that forces you to duck. Unless you wanna get hit in the face with the branch. <laughs> Anyways, we are in Rolling Meadows, just to let you know. What does this say? Thank you, first responders, for all essential and all essential workers. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Alrighty. Uh, the question is, does the sidewalk take us all the way there? We shall see. Oh, and by the way, today I am riding with the uh, heavy chain in my basket. You know, that thing is like 11 pounds, <laughs> so that adds more weight. I figured I needed to bring it because if I ever decided to really do this, um, I would need to lock up my bike and go inside, pick up the food, come on back out. But as I'm riding this and seeing the amount of traffic and things, even this early in the morning, I have my serious doubts I would actually really do this. All right. <laughs> you know, it's actually bumpy around the sidewalk. Now they say when you ride on the sidewalk, you shouldn't be doing 20 miles an hour on the sidewalk. <laughs> which is true, you, you do need to ride at reasonable speeds because uh, there could be pedestrians on the sidewalk. But of course, this early in the morning, nobody's even up to do that. If they're anywhere, they're in a car heading to work. <laughs> so going this far out is actually okay. I checked the, uh, the mileage and I would have enough uh, to be able to go there and go back and still have plenty of battery left uh, as far as battery power. So right now I'm still at uh, 
five out of five scale for my battery. <laughs> Squirrels running out. I always feel like turn fast because otherwise I'm gonna run you over. I did hit a dragonfly though. I was out on the bike path the other day and I think he ran right into my spokes. So obviously that dragonfly probably did not make it. But I think he, uh, he got hit by the spokes. Now those are things I can't avoid. That's gonna happen. Sad, but it happens. I don't wanna run over a squirrel though. <laughs> So these guys have a lot of bushes sticking out. They really need to cut that back. The same thing over here. They need to cut it back, but they haven't. All right, how far are we going? We got a long ways to go. Okay, are we gonna run out of s No, we still have sidewalk, but I think it goes in the wrong direction, which means we've gotta take the street. Yeah, this is not turning out as good as I thought. This is gonna be a lot tougher, because once I merge onto that street, all these cars here, I'm gonna let the cars go first. So if they're in the right-hand lane, so let them go first, and of course there's people who turns in front of you, make sure there's no other cars. Alright, so we're gonna let them go, and then we're gonna go. Now this lady, make sure she doesn't turn. Alright. <laughs> Back on the street. Yeah, this is not that easy. I would say I would not do this again. I was kind of thinking there might be a sidewalk to take all the way through, but no, no sidewalk. We've got about a half a mile to get there. It's doable. I mean, it's not like I can't do it, but do you want to risk it to pick up Chinese food? <laughs> I could drive this and be there in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe it's a little longer than 10 minutes, I don't know. So what would you guys do? Would you risk it? All for Chinese food? Or would you uh, take your car? Now they say that, you know, you can uh, replace your car with, uh, with an e-bike. Really? Would you do it? I guess if there was no cars and it was strictly bikes only, I would do it. But the fact that uh, you're contending with cars on the road, that's yeah, a little risky. All right, we're almost there according to the GPS. Things are starting to look familiar. <laughs> I'll drive up to it. It's not like I'm not going in. It's too early in the morning. Nobody's open. All right, we gotta turn right here, but I'm not gonna turn. Now, some people with bikes, they will just blast right through this and make that turn. But I've got a car turning, and uh, if he doesn't see me, then I'm like toast. <laughs> so, and here we are, Chinese place. <laughs> so we've made it. Now the question is, is can we get back home safely? <laughs> I'll pull off for a second here. All right, well, I appreciate you guys taking the ride with me. We made it to Rolling Meadows. We made it to the Chinese uh, carryout. <laughs> No food for us though. This is just a test run. Yeah, I wouldn't do this again. Yeah, too risky. Too risky. Anyways, appreciate you guys coming along with me on the ride. I'll talk to you guys next time.